In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the number of diagonals in a polygon. So here's the formula. D is equal to n times n minus 3 divided by 2, where n represents the number of sides in the polygon. So let's start with a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided figure, so n is equal to 3. Now 3 minus 3 is 0, and 0 times 3 is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is 0. So in this figure, we cannot draw any diagonals. So if we start here, and we try to draw to this vertex, this is not a diagonal. It's a side of the triangle. And we can't draw to the other vertex because that's not a diagonal either. So there are no diagonals that we can draw with a triangle. So a triangle has zero diagonals. Now, let's talk about a four-sided figure, like a quadrilateral or a square or a rectangle. How many diagonals can we draw for this figure? So in this case, n is equal to 4. So using this formula, it's going to be 4 times 4 minus 3 divided by 2. Now, 4 minus 3 is 1. And so we have 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So starting with this point, we can draw a diagonal to this side. That's 1. And starting with this point, we can draw another diagonal. So there's two diagonals that we can draw for a four-sided figure, such as a quadrilateral, a square, a rhombus, a rectangle, a kite, a trapezoid. All of these, we can generate two diagonals for such figures. Now let's move on to a five-sided figure, like a pentagon. How many diagonals are in a pentagon? So n is 5 in this case, so it's going to be 5 times 5 minus 3 divided by 2. 5 minus 3 is 2, and so we could cancel the 2's, and there should be 5 diagonals that we can draw. So let's start with this point. We can draw one here, we could also draw one here, that's 2. Now let's start with this one. We can draw one here and one there as well. So that's 4 so far. And then we can connect these two points. And so that's a total of 5 diagonals in a pentagon. Now what about a hexagon? How many diagonals can we draw in a hexagon? So it's going to be 6 times 6 minus 3 divided by 2. 6 minus 3 is 3, and 6 times 3 is 18, and 18 divided by 2 is 9. So let's start with this point. We can draw one here, that's 1, 2, and 3. Now let's start at the bottom. So this could be 4, 5, and 6. Now start with this point. This would be 7, and this is 8. And then if we start here, this would make 9. And so there's 9 diagonals that we can draw. If we start here, this would be the same, that's the same, and we covered that already. So there's only 9 diagonals for a hexagon. Now what about a heptagon? In this case, it's going to be 7 times 7 minus 3 divided by 2. Now 7 minus 3 is 4. And 7 times 4 is 28. 28 divided by 2 is 14. So let's see if we can draw 14 diagonals. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now let's start with this point. 5, 6, 7, 8. Now let's move on here. 9, 10, 11. Now if we start with this point, this is 12, that's 13, and the last one, this is 14. So 14 diagonals in the heptagon. Now let's try an octagon.
go ahead and use the formula to calculate the number of diagonals in the octagon and draw those diagonals. So take a minute and pause the video. You could try this if you want. So the formula is n, n minus 3 divided by 2. So for our octagon, n is 8. There are 8 sides. So it's 8 times 8 minus 3 divided by 2. 8 minus 3 is 5. And 8 times 5 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So let's see if we can get this answer. So I'm going to start with this point. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now I'll start with this one. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's move on to this point. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Now let's go to this point. 15, 16, 17. So now that we have 17, let's start here. This is going to be 18 and 19. The last one is this one, from here to here. That makes 20. And so that's how you can show the 20 diagonals in an octagon. Now let's work on an example problem. A regular polygon contains 35 diagonals. What type of polygon is it? In order to determine the type of polygon, we need to calculate the number of sides that this polygon contains. So let's use this formula. D is equal to n times n minus 3 divided by 2. Now we have the value of D. This particular polygon has 35 diagonals. So what we need to do is calculate the value of n. So let's begin by multiplying both sides by 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. And so the 2's will cancel on the right side. And 2 times 35 is 70. So 70 is equal to n times n minus 3. Now, what do you think we need to do at this point? At this point, it's basically an algebra problem. We need to distribute n. So n times n is n squared. And then n times negative 3 is negative 3n. Now, in order to solve for n, we need to realize that we have a quadratic expression. So let's take the 70 and move it to the other side. It's positive on the left, but it's going to be negative on the right. So 0 is equal to n squared minus 3n minus 70. Now, what we need to do is we need to factor this expression in order to solve for the value of n. We could use the quadratic formula, but that's going to be a lot of extra work, and I think it's easier to factor it. So what two numbers multiply to the constant term negative 70, but add to the middle coefficient negative 3? Well, 70 is 10 times 7. Now, one of these two numbers has to be negative, and to make it work, we need to choose negative 10 and positive 7, because negative 10 plus 7 will add up to negative 3, and at the same time, they multiply to negative 70. So to factor it, it's going to be n minus 10 times n plus 7. So now we need to set each factor equal to 0. So n minus 10 is equal to 0, and n plus 7 is equal to 0. So for this one, we need to add 10 to both sides. So n is equal to positive 10, and here we need to subtract both sides by 7. Now we can't have a negative number of sides. So this answer is just not right. So the correct answer is 10. So we have a polygon with 10 sides. What is the name of such a polygon? A polygon with 10 sides is a decagon. And so that's the answer for part A. Part B, what is the sum of all of the interior angles of the polygon? A simple equation to get that answer is this one. It's n minus 2 times 180. So n is 10, and so 10 minus 2 is 8. So we need to multiply 8 by 180.
and so this is 1440 degrees. So that's the sum of all of the interior angles in the decagon. Now what is the measure of each interior angle, part C? To find the measure of each interior angle, it's going to be the sum of all of the interior angles divided by the number of sides in the polygon. So the sum of all the angles is 1440, and there are 10 sides, so this is going to be 144 degrees for each interior angle. So now let's determine the measure of an exterior angle. So let's say this is one of the sides of the polygon, and so this angle is 144. The exterior angle is right here. So it's 180 minus 144. 180 minus 144 is 36. So that's the measure of each exterior angle. Now another way to calculate it is to use this formula. It's 360 divided by n. So for a decagon, there's 10 sides. And 360 divided by 10 is 36. And so this gives us the same answer. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful, and uh, thanks for watching.